There have been 39 million deaths from HIV since 1981. You might remember seeing ads and hearing news in the 90s about the AIDS epidemic that caused people to be afraid of toilet seats and made sex seem scary. But since then, we have learned a lot about HIV and AIDS. We learned about how it is passed from person to person and even how to treat and prevent it. Since then, news coverage and ads have decreased, but that doesn't mean that the epidemic has gone away. In the last three decades alone, 75 million people have been diagnosed as being newly HIV positive. And many of these people don't even know that they're infected. In some countries, the amount of healthy treated individuals outweighs the amount of newly infected individuals, but this trend is unfortunately not global. But before we move on about what can be done, let's back up a little bit and define HIV and AIDS. Human immunodeficiency virus, or HIV, is a virus that attacks the cells that help fight infection in the body. And acquired immunodeficiency syndrome, or AIDS, is the late stage of HIV infection that occurs when the immune system is too damaged. While we don't have treatment for AIDS, we do have treatment available and prevention options for HIV. Antiretroviral therapy, better known as ART, helps people that are HIV positive live long and healthy lives and reduces their chances of transmitting HIV to another person. And pre-exposure prophylaxis, better known as PrEP, is a medication that people that do not have HIV can take to lower their chances of developing HIV. Both of these daily medications aren't exactly the cheapest, so what can we do to help? Public health program developers, innovators, researchers, and scientists can work to understand how the public thinks and views HIV AIDS, and what methods we can use to help prevent and decrease transmission. Unfortunately, we are at the point where the scales might tip back in favor of newly infected individuals because HIV is talked about less in the general public and there is still high risk for transmission. With decreased funding and less political spotlight, HIV AIDS has lost its visibility despite still being an epidemic. There are many ways that you can work to help end the epidemic. You can work in community health and outreach, conduct research to understand human behavior, like the influence of social circles and other societal impacts. You can develop effective prevention strategies. You can create programming to help high-risk individuals, such as substance users. Or you can even work in politics to help make changes in policies. And you can do this at a local, national, or global level. Here at NYU GPH, we teach the skills to develop programming and interventions we go in depth on the history and future of the HIV AIDS epidemic, and we are on the forefront of conducting research to help decrease and prevent risky behaviors among high-risk individuals. We have faculty that researches behavioral factors that influence HIV AIDS and their health-related outcomes. We have ethnographers that study the intersection of HIV and overdose prevention. Anthropologists that focus on sociocultural pathways and behavioral scientists to develop community-based interventions. We train the leaders of tomorrow with the leaders of today.